something wrong with Sudi? What? No, everything seems to be fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine and dandy. Nothing really? wrong. The past few episodes, she seems to be derpy a bit. No, no, we're no worry. The Mountain Dew dried out. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, fine. Senor Norman, can you pay me? My family needs money. <laughs> ah, potatoes later. Uh, we need a sh- we need to do a show. Uh, Are you sure? I'm very tired trying to hold this wall with my back. I'm sleeping on the sideway. Oh, <laughs> ah, little, little, little. We need to do. Something. I have to lower my sombrero. The sun is hitting me in my eyes. Oh, it's so tired, life. Oh my god. Ah, uh, little. But anyway, we need to do a show. So we start in three, two, one. Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number one sixty-two. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is James. Hello, everybody. I don't know what happened. We have a lot of Mexican immigrants going on around here lately. What the hell? Norman, have you been hiring more people without my approval? No, no, no. no. I'm the only Hispanic person in this podcast. Don't you dare hiring more people. I cannot grab the chance of them eclipsing me. No. <laughs> also joining us is Ro. Hello, all you happy people. Hey, Ro. And also joining us today is King. Hello. Hey, King, how are you, man? That's not a word! Tired. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, looks like Sweetie Pot is working all right. Mm-hmm. True indeed. And uh, what about you, James? Um, um, well... Ah! <laughs> Sorry. I just finished watching today's, this week's episode. We just recorded after episode four of season five, kicking and... Ah! Okay. <laughs> and you, Ro? Must push lanes. <laughs> Must what? upgrade items. <laughs> Dota, man. Oh, God, no. It's my life now. Oh, oh God. Why no. did you... Oh, no, Rome, what are you doing? No, actually, you know what? Keep up. That, 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 yeah, good, good. Keep doing, keep doing of another round of the drone the army. Of all the addictive <laughs> items you could get into, why not magic, man? Because they're both... That's not a word! <laughs> they're expensive, man. Oh, they're you expensive. no, didn't go there. You... Take that back, you... God damn... That's not a word! I'll say what I want. <laughs> Do what you want, you are, the not going to be, you are not going to do such an awesome car game. I'm going to, I'm going to find you, I'm going to... That's not a word! Then I'm going to turn you into a card, like in Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> so we're getting all you, Gil. That's not a word! Right. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! You won't get the boots, and you'll get the horns. Oh. Looks like we're getting... That's not a word! Yeah. <laughs> oh, I am going to... That's not a word! <laughs> Uh, but anywho, let's go with weeks. How have your week been, man? Like, James, how have your week been? Okay, meh, meh, meh. That's not a word. Awful, meh. That's not a word. This is the best day ever. Awesome. That's how it went. <laughs> All right, cool, 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 cool. And you, roll? Must push lanes. <laughs> go to the bottom, I'll take top. Oh, really now? All week? Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in a happy place now. <laughs> Yes. Who's the fending medal? <laughs> uh, and you, Kick, how has your day been? Or week been? Yeah. And so, so, I'm so... Aw. Absolutely... That's not a word! Shattered. And I've got to get these... That's not a word! ...comics out before I can do the reaction videos I've got to bloody do this weekend. All oh, right. Uh, we'll try and keep... We'll try and He's speed it up. Well with us. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> but anywho, as for my week, I've been okay... Magic Nobody and... cares about what you want. <laughs> uh, but <My> yeah. <laughs> oh, but <clears throat> oh boy! Like this week is going to be one of those weeks where we don't have a guest. But hey, we're going to try something new. You know, uh, let's just hope. No, no. Can you see the we- the guest for this week is Sweetie Bot. She's <laughs> going to end up burning out. Uh, yes. Don't worry, Sweetie Bot. I'll look after you. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you, you, woof, I got no idea. Oh, boy. But anyway, yeah, since this is going to be one of those episodes, we're going to try and relax a bit, you know, take it cool and easy. Okay. In other words, That's not a word. Uh, probably. You're going to have to censor that entire segment, I just realized. <laughs> <laughs> I was swearing over, over King swearing. <laughs> Yes. Our swearing is starting to reach critical mass. Oh god, no. Let's, I, bro, I hope Sweetie Pot is okay. Just yellow. Yes, yes. But anywho, anybody going to a con this year? I mm, don't know, but I'm drawing some art oh. for one. No. 
You know what? You're in the same position as I am, Kim, because I am working for Bronny Scott, but I don't know if I will be able to go. We are super tight money-wise here in my house. Even the thought of spending that much money in a hotel is just starting to kill me. I cannot it's, even... It's tight as sweetie, but... That's not a word! <laughs> oh, dude, you have not... That, it's way tighter than that. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> but... <laughs> ay, ay, ay. How, how do I go to... Mm, a lot of... Anyway... <laughs> You cannot segue into this, Norman. <laughs> yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Do like the Disney song and let it go. Uh, I, I Invented, I'm trying to do. I'm. I'm currently um drawing some artwork for a contest. To be fair, so I think we're doing different kind of artworks, James. Like you're doing it for Brony Scott. I'm doing it for a contest. Oh, really? No. Well, right now I am not doing anything for Brony Scott because I'm drawing a. That's not a word. So yeah, it's not. Uh, this is definitely not for Brony Scott. Okay, but guys, 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 um, back on track. Our friends at Everfree Northwest, they are having an art book contest, um, uh, comic book contest. Well, yeah, no, that's what I'm drawing the contest for. Oh, cool, awesome, awesome. Ooh, right, are you? Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. So, if you guys want to know any more info, like you, King, I did remember you saying you're going to try, and the submission date is going to be on April 24th. That's the deadline submission. So, that's Friday on April 24th. So, submit them ASAP because you're entitled to win. Artwork's going to be featured on the front cover of the Everfree Northwest 2015 con book. Prints sold at Everfree Northwest. Artists will receive 50% of the profit gained from their design. Complimentary Everfree Northwest standard three-day pass for you and or one of your friends. And a $100 Amazon gift card. So, oh, why not? Go ahead, man. Like, you can spend all those $100 on pony swags. Well, isn't this wonderful? Yes. No, I'm not talking about that. Tabitha Saint Germain just favorited one of my tweets. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You sent, I sent a bunch of tweets to the people running the show saying what an awesome episode today was. Oh, wow. That, that's so nice of you. Did you mention anything to Jason Thiessen and Big Jim Miller? Yes, actually. I, I tagged the, 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 the tweet to Jason Thiessen, Big, Big Jim Miller, Megan McCarthy, and Tabitha Saint Germain because they were the actual stars of the episode. That was, well, and George Haber's writing, of course. What a great... Oh, oh, stop it! There's people well, who haven't watched the episode yet. Don't say anything, James. True, 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 true. But you know what? Funny enough that you mentioned them, our good friends at Delivery Northwest also invited Jason Thiessen and Big Jim. So, you guys nice. know who they are, right? So, they're gonna be at Everfree Northwest this May 29th to the 31st. And, well, if you're interested in knowing what they do, how they do it, go ahead. Go, go visit them. Go say hi. Go tell them they did a good job and stuff. They are the guys who directed Captain America the Winter Soldier, right? That movie was excellent as well. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, I don't hmm. think they did it, but <laughs> if they did, how? Uh, we're on a roll here. We're on a roll here. I, I uh, no, know. this is this is absolute chaos. It makes no sense. You're going to throw your hands up in the air and say, "Screw this! I'm not going to edit this." No, no. It throw your hands up in the air. Like the, just go, That's not a word. Care. <laughs> goes like this up on you. Suddenly you get the same rating that the Hanover movies got, and <laughs> you are done. <laughs> right now we are rated our animal house level. We are getting close to get rated R the Hanover. Next one is rated R a Serbian film. Um, God no. Well, we are getting uh, close to. <laughs> uh, <laughs> God no. God. Well, we're this far in. That's not a word. Let's continue. Oh, God no. Yeah. But you know, talking about films and whatnot, have you guys listened to any of the well movies? There's there's going to be soundtracks, right? So, in, have any of you purchased some of the soundtracks that's available? From the show? Yeah, yeah. I never got round to it. I want to, though. I haven't actually got them, though. One of the few things I refuse to, like, pirate mm. is any of the pony stuff. Like, I want to buy all, like... Official crunch, merch. All legit, yeah, because I, I want to... That's not a word! Support the creators, yeah. It, there yeah. is one thing that kills me about that, though, is that... I don't know how it is, how easy it is for people outside of Europe, but for people inside of Europe, trying to get your hands on the actual TV show is a nightmare. Like, mm. iTunes doesn't have it right away because there is a lot of licenses that they have to deal with. The DVDs, they just came out for season one only, <laughs> and they are out of order. We don't have Blu-rays, and the Google Store doesn't have them either. So for those of us who don't want to succumb to the, to the big giant Apple, 
So, yeah, like, like, yeah, of course I want to, I also want to buy the stuff, uh, legally. That's how I buy the comics. But God, is it difficult to get, to get anything else. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. But one good thing about all this is that you can get the new soundtrack on, well, wherever it's available, iTunes, Amazon, and Google Play. So remember a while back when uh, Daniel Ingram announced that he there's going to be a CD coming out and some new songs in it and whatnot? Yeah, but there is one thing that is not included in that album. Yeah. All the songs from the Weird Old Jankovic episode. Yeah, probably something to do with licensing and whatnot, but still. Exactly. That is why uh, when you have the voice of Weird Al in, in your soundtrack... You need to sign a lot of licenses with him. Yeah. Or, hey, hey, who knows? Who knows? Maybe they will release it as a separate album mm. full of songs that we haven't listened to composed by the actual Weird Al Jankovic. Probably. Now, wouldn't that be something? Yeah, that would be, cool. that would be awesome. Because remember that back... Would be really cool. You remember the Pokemon first movie? They had a soundtrack? Dude, that was great. <laughs> that was great. The, 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 the Paul Camon. Yeah. The, that like, was great. What? That was that was that was the second movie. That was did you say second movie? I thought you I said think it was first. first. Movie. I think it was first. It was the second. It, it was the second. It came with it. yeah yeah yeah. I have the album. Right. Hang on a minute. I have the album right here. I have both soundtracks huh. here on my collection. Here we have uh, Pokemon the first movie and Pokemon Power of One. Weird old Jankovic Pokemon Track Eleven on the Pokemon two thousand uh, uh, the movie two thousand. So the second soundtrack. album then. All right. Oh, yes, still, if but the they even put it in the credits. That was such a joyful mozo- That was such a joyful <laughs> song. <laughs> so true, so true. But yeah, I mean, if you like the Pony songs and want to support the official release, go do that. Like, go to iTunes, Amazon, and Google Play. Because I have the album, and you remember that perfect, no, not perfect Stallion song, but the song that Big Mac sang, um, Music in the Air. Philly Vanilli. Yeah, in oh. the Philly Vanilli episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Find the music in you. Yeah, find the music in you. And there's a full song of it without any cuts or any interruptions. And it sounds good. Well, it's Big Mac in those. What do you expect? Oh. It's not called Big Mac for nothing. Look at the size of it. That's not a word. Ah. Pain. <laughs> yes. We are a respectable children's show. Can you please stop? That's not a word. I can't. That's not a word. Help it. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Ro, how's Sweetie doing? Because, uh, call in the doctors, we are losing her. Oh god, no. Uh, she's gonna stop. She, no, she's gonna My qualification, you know my two years of qualification as an electrician is not enough here. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You actually have qualifications. <laughs> Surprise! Is someone just DDoS Sweetie Bot? No, I don't think so. I... But, no, but someone DDoS from fiction. Oh no! Uh, yeah, I no. <laughs> Did you like, see I'm that? I'm legitimately pissed off with this. Oh my god, that was that was hilarious though. I love How? the reaction that the guys. No, it was hilarious because did you see the reaction of the guys on Twitter? Ha ha, we took down Finn Fiction. I'm like, yeah, yeah, guys, yeah, put yourself a medal. It will go back immediately. Yeah. It, like, it's back online now. I mean, mm-hmm. oh, whoop the flipping do. Do you know that some people actually had victories longer than that? <laughs> that were more meaningful? Like, yeah, giant battles and victories. Wounded knee, the Alamo. Some douchebag tries to take down film fiction. Yeah, right. Okay, okay. Uh, Let me go find your medal made out of poop. Oh, no. But you know what? Like, that was kind of serious because it took a very long time before it was well, back up. It's because it's the first time that has happened. Um, when a website doesn't have... Uh, is not prepared for DDoS attacks, it's because they don't expect a DDoS attack to happen, but... It doesn't matter because they are already have um, they already have measures to prevent another DDoS attack in the field. Yeah. Upon meeting nightly when we had a conversation at BookCon, on the same book I met you two, mm-hmm. we were talking about we got like at the uh, the VIP the VIP um, meal section. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, I was talking about how like how the website and how much I enjoy it and everything, and like how we got around to like who we got to make it and stuff. And he said, "Oh, I made it." And I was like, "You made that well made." You know, because it's well made. It's a well made website. Awesomely made website. Yes, it's a. Better so the moment website. I saw this DD, DDoS attack thing, I was like, "Natalie's going to fix this." And yep, a couple of hours done. <laughs> he woke there up. With, uh, he woke up. Went <laughs> crack. I love it. <laughs> Challenge and just sort of fixed it in a couple of minutes. And went there. We go. <laughs> uh, what you see is that 
when you know what you're doing, you don't have nothing to worry about. And Knightley does have his head on his shoulders. Uh, uh, I, besides, guys, you can be without your fan, your fan fiction uh, uh, fix. Go to go to fanfiction.net, even though it's not the best place oh. ever, but it's a good substitute while you're waiting for fan fiction to uh, get back on yeah, track. I actually got, like, I bothered by it, because I was like, oh, it's down, it'll be open in a few hours. And then it wasn't open a few hours, I was like, really want to read that fiction I'm currently reading at the moment? I know how you feel, King. Here's the thing, like, every time before I go to bed, I prop up my iPad and I read a fic before I go to bed. And, okay, this, this story's fine, I can go to bed. It's like reading a bedtime story to myself. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're so sad. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I love my fan fiction stuff. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah but anywho w- when that happened like oh wow this is sad I got back up and huh it's not back up yet like huh I wonder what went wrong huh? I hope Nightly is doing okay and a few hours later oh yay it's up back online it's funny it got fixed faster than DeviantArt <laughs> did you see did you see what happened with uh, with DeviantArt oh what happened man what happened a couple of days ago it went back <laughs> And it locked people outside of their uh, accounts. Oh, I remember that. I remember hearing that. But funny enough, I didn't got hit. There was a problem with their with their ISPs, and everybody got locked out of their accounts. It didn't matter even if you tried to um, reset your password. It kept saying that, oh, no, no, your account doesn't exist. Your username doesn't work. The password is incorrect. Oh, DeviantArt. <laughs> funny enough, um, a few weeks back, Ponyville Life got DDoS. Did it? Yeah, there was like a yeah, there was, yeah, yeah, yeah. It got DDoS. There was a couple of um, threats going on about uh, taking down several pony websites uh, or brony websites with DDoS attacks. And apparently, these guys seem to be affecting their um, thread. Uh-huh. So yeah, their thread, their, their ultimatum. But it doesn't matter in the end. The website will go back on track later on. It's it's. <laughs> Ah, uh, besides, do you remember that one time in 2011 that they tried to take down Equestria Daily with a, with a DDoS? Impossible, uh, because... And, yeah, 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 and Cethisto went, guys, you cannot DDoS us, we are based off of Google, the only <laughs> thing you can give us is page views. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Like, the, the counter kind of gen from like, um, I don't know, whatever they had to, a, one million more or a, a several hundred thousands more in like a couple of seconds, and Seth was like, Truck. <laughs> and I was there laughing my ass of saying, <laughs> You were actually trying to take down a website that is based off of Google, oh you poor devils. Why? Oh, is that, is that, that is impossible or so, something? That is so funny. You cannot, you cannot take down Google with a DDoS. If you were able to do that, then Google will be done constantly. It's the oh, biggest God. search engine in the planet. Oh. You, you cannot take down Google with a DDoS attack. It's impossible. I remember talking to Seth about it when we had him on the show. We talk about him, blah, blah, blah. And I don't know what happened, but somehow the topic of DDoS came up and he said that, yeah, we were based off Google. Like, good luck. <laughs> but anyway. I am liking really this format. That's processor I'm... F- <laughs> uh, yeah, I kind of. Uh, but anyway, anyway. Th- that's the news for this week. That's the news for this week. And Wait, I what? Really? No way. No, no, no. There has to be something else coming out this week. Let me just dug up a question daily. There has to be something else going on. Probably. You might, uh, you might have missed something, Norman, because you're an old man and you forget. Hey, I, I was tr- yeah. troll. I was troll with everything. Oh, shut up. Yeah, I mean, every, any, everything that I could cover. So Well, yeah. apparently the trading cards have a bunch of Season 5 information hidden in them. Yeah. Really? Uh, they they reveal two more episode titles and synopsis, or however you pronounce that. I have deliberately ignored those. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And on a more serious note, apparently the voice actor for Cranky Doodle Donkey and M. Bison is oh, dealing yeah. with some debt that uh, he could be helped with, apparently. Yeah, I, I heard about yeah. that, and I heard he raised about a few bucks, so if I remember, he's in good condition. No, you see, it's very easy to forget that people that, that people that work for, uh, that people that work for television and all that, people that we can consider celebrities, that they have their names on the credits of TV shows, comics and such, that they also have problems with their, with their bills. Mm, yeah. I mean, it, it is easy to forget, be, uh, to forget because you are like, oh, celebrity, celebrity equals millions and millions of dollars. That is so false in this day and age. Everybody has been on the red in this day and age. Mm-hmm. 
Especially yeah. for uh, this Boys guy. Hunting. Yeah, this guy. Who's his name? I forgot his name. Wow. Oh, come on, man. Uh, 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 oof. Richard Newman. Newman. Yeah. Sorry about that. I, I dropped so hard because... He... That's it. Perfectly fine. I also forgot about the name. No, seriously. Serious face now. I do forget. Yeah. Forgot about the name. Because about he did I mean, like Captain Dinu and Rock. Oof. There's a lot. Like, oh, wow. But yeah, I'm on his uh, Indiegogo. Yeah, Indiegogo page right now. And for $15 Canadian, you get a single headshot. And for... 20, he will get his signed LP because he was in a band in 1982. And now, for the, for you kids of the 2000s, LP doesn't mean let's play. It means long play, and it's a type of fi- uh, of vinyl. disc format. Yeah, it's a vinyl disc. Mm-hmm. That's well, an does, it mean, does it mean let's play? No, not really. Long Lately, play. no, but, yeah, no. LP, L, L, LP is the short uh, is the abbreviation for let's play. Mm-hmm. It's the one that people use the most lately. Like, sooner or later, we're going to stop using the term CD as well. It's going yeah. to fall into obscurity. Probably. Does somebody remember those floppy disks? Ooh, yeah, yeah, we, we did. did that last week, yeah. yeah we did. <laughs> we had a full-blown conversation about that last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, are all, we are all, we are all, we look at the safe icon and we go, we know what that represents. But this current generation don't. You look at the safe icon and you are like, what is that square thing? It's a floppy disk. But oh, yeah, you LP to means... Last week? <laughs> LP means means long play, and it's a type of uh, file form, of, uh, this yeah. reproduction format. It's a vinyl disc. Yeah. So, yeah. Did, you, did you listen to our podcast last week? Because whatever I, ha- I have, I have not. Oh. Why? Because, because that's it, we had that exact same conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you yeah. kidding? Really? <laughs> no. Oh my god! That's uh, uh. that's it. The geriatric NBA show. <laughs> oh god! Lucky like my day, the game of. Bo- Oh, it could only be played at night when you were passing by a light. You didn't have a light, a, a light source screen. <laughs> there but, was no way to put brightness on the screen of a Game Boy. <laughs> well, they are, they are. You'll buy one of those fancy adapters. Oh, I had one of them. <laughs> but for me, they were pointless after a couple of months because you'd be using them so much that <laughs> they'd just be fucked. You couldn't use them. True, true. Yeah, but anyway, um, besides that, you can do, give 25 bucks to get a personalized voicemail. And just imagine voicemail, bisons talking to you and stuff. <laughs> That'll be awesome. And lastly, it's thirty Canadian dollars, and you'll get a personalized video, and he will say whatever you want. Yeah. That'll be I'm cool. Come up there and fuck you, rough boy. You know one thing. You know. You know. You know one thing. Mm-hmm. Um, in the hopes that Mr. Richard Newman ever listens to this, uh. Which I don't know if he is going to, but here's a recommendation of something he should do. You remember a few months ago when the Nostalgia Critic did a review of The Perch? Uh-huh. And he got himself Loris La- Loris, uh, Maurice Lamar and, uh, uh Rolf Paulson oh, yeah, to do yeah. the voices of Pinky and the Brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For that segment where the brain starts insulting <laughs> Pinky and calling him. <laughs> <laughs> and, and all those things, and he actually got the real voice actors to and, do the voices and film them too at the same time. Shouldn't, oh, shouldn't how much would that have cost him? I, I have no idea, but that's what I'm going for. Is that uh, Richard King, uh, Richard Newman should start um, like kind of not exploiting his celebrity status. Like kind of contact contact the nostalgia critic. Let him know that he that you are the voice of M Bison. That you're the guy who said. Who said such lines as "Yes, uh, yes, yes"? Or yeah, I killed your father. So what? I killed my father. You don't see me whining about it. <laughs> it's like, it's, it, you you do have the power to become a to, to become a meme. You can have the power to uh, to exploit that and uh, and get yourself out of the problem. True, but the thing is, with it's not easy. Yeah, with. Um, Pinky and Brain, they were at conventions. That's the thing. So. No, that's the thing. He should, he should start booking conventions if he can. Yeah, but. Come on! Book, book this guy! If, if, if <clears throat> Mr. Newman is not listening to this, any convention that should be listening to this, guys, guys, get this guy to your con! Yeah, like, ever free, if you're listening to this, like, get him down there. Like, <coughs> just imagine, you have Cranky Doodle Donkey there, and he suddenly he. Yeah! Yeah, and suddenly he changed his voice to Bison saying, yes! Yes! Please, somebody oh. give him a, 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 a giant blonde toupee. <laughs> that would 
That would be amazing. Uh, but no, seriously, that that would be awesome because he he deserves it, man. Like he he did a great role as Cranky Doodle, and uh, uh, that that episode was oh god. Awesome! It was an awesome episode. Yeah. So anyway, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbshowgmail.com dot com. And wait a minute, are we all, are we ending? Yeah, I, I think. Are I you st- kidding? Yeah, we I didn't think... even go for an hour. Oh my God, Norman, you are definitely getting old. Oh, man, I, I I I see smoke coming out, sweetie bot. So yeah, Ro, sweetie bot status dead. <laughs> oh no. Wow. Uh, uh, we need to upgrade her. You shouldn't have put it in there, man. Oh, God, no. Anyway, uh, you can also reach us on the Twitters. Uh, the show's Twitter account is at the NBS Show. My Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And James, where can you be found, man? Under your bed. Oh, God, no. The smell in your... P- <laughs> anyway. <Hi>. <laughs> <laughs> You can uh, go to my askmovieslate.tumblr.com blog. You can you can see my art from there. I have links to all my stuff. So uh, go there. Or I will actually get from under your bed. And- <laughs> oh, <God>. um, <clears throat> <sighs> what about you, Rolf? You can find me in the middle lane because no one else is defending. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> links are in the show notes if you want to know where he is. And I bet he's taking bottom. <laughs> uh, what about you, King? Roll, roll's always in the bottom. <laughs> oh, he always. Does. Uh, you can find me at Demon Art, my YouTube channel, Kickass King One, where I'll be doing reactions, where I'll be recording today. Um, you can find me at Ponies Backstage, where I'm actually drawing a comic for that after this recording. And Demon Art, yeah, that's about it. Awesome. You can also probably find me here next week if I'm if Sweetie Bot will let me back. I'm sure the 2.0 version will be perfect. Anyway, also please subscribe and read us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. And you can catch us on PonyBelive.com. Links are in the show notes. So, I have been Norman Sanzo. I have been... <laughs> this whole time and you didn't know. I am malicious. I've been swearing this whole time as Kick Ass King. Oh god, no. And probably we'll see you next week with an upgraded version of the Sweetie Bot. <laughs> Bro, take us out. And we will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, my. Yay. Oh, come on. Ay, a caramba. <laughs>